Hey guys, J19 brought to you another video, and yeah, PlayStation Blog just posted this a few minutes ago. I decided to just record another video. This will be up tomorrow sometime, so if you're watching this, it's already out tomorrow. But with that said, we got some Monster Hunter Wilds information, some pre-order stuff we'll go over um, at the very bottom of this page. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been, it's been a wonderful ride. I enjoyed the state of play. If you watched my reaction to that, thank you guys so much for Give me all the light, loves and, and likes and stuff, and, and Roy show me the love and all that. I appreciate it a ton. If you haven't checked it out, please do, and subscribe if you're new. We got more Monster Hunter content, wild content coming your way. So with that said, I'm going to switch gears, and we're going to take a look at this blog post. Now, let's look at it. Uh, it's from Monster Hunter Wilds launches February 28, 2025. So yeah, early... Quarter 1, 2025, I called it, and I'm, like, super hyped for it. Um, he was like, oh, well, it could be middle or late next year. Like, they're still working on it for quite a while. They said, yeah, they're still developing the game. They still got a few months yet. But what I what I see is this game is getting closer and closer to being done, and this makes a lot of sense. I'm so glad now I got something to play in February into March, and we're going to be streaming a lot of this. I'll have this on YouTube as well. Um, so with that said, let's read some more on this as well. Anyways, that's the box art. I'm pretty sure uh, it's shown on the stream website. Um, I looked up the box art for this, and this is what pops up. It looks pretty sick. This could be the flagship. I'm not sure. It looks like they in the trailer. I'm not gonna break stuff down in that trailer. I'm kind of just want to keep myself unspoiled of the of the story. But what they're searching for this monster here. That's all. I, that's all I want to know. So it looks sick. Um, I love the the machine, the the hammer and the light bulb gun. It looks sick. I love I love the way this looks. Anyways, check out the latest uh, trailer review on the flagship monster, Arkveld. There we go. There's your flagship monster right there. Pre-orders pre today for exclusive bonuses. I just pre-ordered the premium deluxe edition on Steam. It was a hundred and ten dollars. It's one hundred nine ninety nine. Ended up being like one hundred sixteen. Some change for me after taxes. I had to get it. I got got pre-ordered. So there we go. We got the flagship monster Arkvel. That's him. So that's a flagship. It's not a typical elder dragon looking thing. It looks it looks terrifying. It looks great. Anyways, from Joseph Bust Bustles, social media media and community manager of Capcom. So yeah, I know this guy. I watched uh, the streams of him talking and stuff like that. Um, the hunt begins and. Monster Hunter Wilds on February 28, 2025, with Phil to reveal the global launch date of the next major entry in the Monster Hunter series, first to PlayStation fans during today's state of play. Pre-order on PS5 starting today to receive bonus items. Now, granted, uh, the only thing different is for PlayStation, the art book. You get a mini, uh, mini digital art book, which is cool. I, I like flipping through those. But if they, if they give you like a physical art book, I might have to score that as well. We'll, we'll see. But I'm not super worried about art book. I got these $116, you know, biggest premium, premium pre deluxe edition. So I'm not super worried about mini art book. But if the art book is physical for like a pre-order, I might have to snag that. We'll see. Okay. During the state of play, we share a fourth trailer. Giving you a first look at the game May Monster that serves as a catalyst for the dramatic events that kicked off the events of the story and formation of the Forbidden Lands Research Commission. Multiple new monsters also make their de debut for the first time. What we'll awaits you in this living, dynamic, changing world where monsters and people coexist? Good question. If you guys want to check out the trailer, feel free. Um, I'm not going to break it down. I'm kind of going to keep myself spoil free. I saw some unique monsters. I'm like, yeah, this looks fantastic. And dynamic weather changes. I'm just going to leave it at that. I just want to go on completely blind from here on out. So no more reactions for me. Um, we're, we're definitely going to stream this game when it comes out. So look forward to that. If we get more information, I might share that. I'll keep an eye out for it. But let's keep going. Introduce the flagship monster from Monster Hunter Wilds, Art Valve. Which is pretty sick. Again, I think he's terrifying looking. But in a good way. I, I really like his design. Uh, the hunter on the secret, Olivia, a member of the com research commission, stand face to face with a mysterious new threat that lies at the center of the story, Arkveld. Which, this is a cool, that's a cool look, right? We'll we'll look at that real quick. That looks pretty sick. I love that way that looks. And we'll look at this like, ooh, oh, he's fighting um, Ray, Rye, 
uh, Rai something. I, I, I forgot his name. So see, I'm going almost completely blind. I'm, I'm missing names, right? A monster from long extinct species shrouded in mystery. A, it's, it bears uniquely shaped chain light wings. Prologue. So this is story moments. We're going to read this. Um, after this, I'm, I'm going to go blind, like I said. We'll read this. If you guys don't want to check this out, feel free to click off this video if you want to go spoiler free. But we're going to read it. Uh, hopefully, I, I forget all about it after this, but let's go over it. A few years ago, on the borders of Forbidden Lands, never investigated by the guild, a boy named Nada is rescued. Using Nada's cryptic words as, clue, as a clue, the Forbidden Lands Research Commission is assembled to investigate the mysterious monsters, monster that attacked. The journey of the research committee to investigate the monster called the White Wraith, which I love that name, by the way, to rescue Nada's beleaguered people known as the Keepers begins now. The guild forms several units, each because of seen of three people, one animal, a hunter, a handler, a smithy, and a pelicle. There is an Avis unit in which the pro protagonist, protagonist belongs, Astrum unit, with, to which Olivia and others belong. Okay, cool. Eric, a biologist, bio, sorry, who belongs to the Astrum unit. Uh, Werner, a engineer who belongs to the Astrum unit. Okay, cool. So we got some new uh, new characters. That's great. Contrasting changes in the Scarlet Forest. Like I mentioned, dynamic weather changes. In the previous review that our last trailer, the Scarlet Forest is a new locale with one with a colorful ecosystem of monsters, rich vegetation, abundant of red twine, tine rivers. Like the Windward Plains, the Scarlet Forest also features its own unique environmental changes. The follow, the follow of the Scarlet Forest, a distinctive red-tinted river of which the Scarlet Forest earns its name. Uh, inclemency of the Scarlet Forest downpour. A heavy downpour batters the environment, reducing visibility and causing the water currents to surge. This is unbelievable that they're able to do this on like next-gen hard, current-gen hardware and PC. That's, that's great. The plenty of the Scarlet Forest after the storm breaks, the sun shines through the trees and the dense forest, making way to bright blue skies, water as the plants and creatures change. Fishing in Monster in the Wilds allows you to bait prey using lures. Relaxing, relax by fishing while enjoying the fresh, refreshing greenery and water. Explore the destroyed beauty of the nearby rubble and the vibrant weather of this period. Use the nearby wedge beetles, which is slinger to swing around or explore the vast Field on the back of your secret or sacred. As as always, you can set a destination on your map, field map, and your sacred will automatically take you there, which is great, right? You can sharpen, gather uh, supplies and stuff with that. Inhabitants of the Scarlet Forest, uh, wood, uh, wood, 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 woods. The Scarlet Forest is home to the wood woods, uh, or wood woods, a tribe of Linian, uh, Lin, Lin, Linian, right? Uh, what kind of life? What kind of life do they lead? How do they have adapted a life in this ever-changing environment? What would hide out in the Scarlet Forest? Brand new monsters have been discovered. Have been discovered. The apex predator of the Scarlet Forest is Oot Oot Duna, a Leviathan-type monster that appears during the downpours. The inclemency of the Scarlet Forest. It wears a veil. A veil of uh, water created for an ingredient secreted from his secreted from his body. Wow. Uh Quill uh, Quimetritus Trice turns up the heat. Uh new to the monster hunter wilds, a quetitus is a brute wyvern and inhabited inhibits the when we're planes. Okay. It sprays a flammable substance that ignites into flames from sparks it emits from scraping the ground with its tail. That's cool. So it's a brute wyvern. Kumatris. Okay. Wow. Summary. Monster Hunter Wilds released worldwide on February 28, 2025 for PS5. We hope you look forward to the next generation of hunting on PS5 with intense hunting action and highlighted levels of immersion that will set new heights for, for the series. Pre-order for the digital version begins today. The Guild Knight set and the Tales, the Tales Talisman, Hope Charm are available as bonuses to all who pre-order. So we hope you hope checking them out. So Guild Knight, the Talisman, 
in addition to pre-order bonus, those who pre-order the downloadable version from the PlayStation Store will also believe, will also receive the Monster Hunter Wilds digital mini art book as a PlayStation Store exclusive pre-order bonus. So yeah, this is not coming to Steam, which I already saw. Um, this game is also coming to Xbox Series S and X, PC, I think Steam and Epic Games, and also PlayStation 5. It's not coming to last gen, so don't worry about it. Um, so the PlayStation 5 version alone, digitally, will be getting the uh, mini art book. So if you're into that kind of stuff, maybe you want to get that game because it doesn't matter what you play on because you are able to cross-play with all your friends no matter what platform they're on. The only thing you can't do is cross saves, which is fine. You don't need to um, because Capcom is still getting into it. Like they're, they got the servers up and running. This is great. Cross play in Monster Hunter Wilds. Mwah. Thank you, Capcom. Now, this app is this is an app for PlayStation 5 separate from the main game. Okay. Uh, standard edition, you get Monster Hunter Wilds game, main game for the PS5. Deluxe edition, the deluxe edition includes... The Monster Hunter main game for the PS5, a dulu uh, deluxe pack, which includes a variety of cosmetic DLC, such as the Hunter Layer Armor and Sticker Set. So you get those. Um, premium Edition, that's what I order, the digital, for like $110. Uh, the Premium uh, Deluxe Edition includes the Monster Hunter Wilds main game for PS5 and a cosmetic DLC pass, including three DLC packs that will release by summer 2025. So you get the Monster Hunter main game, Wild's main game, Deluxe, which you get the same thing, like you get the Cosmetic, Cosmetic, and Premium Bonus plan for release at the main la game launch. For more information, please uh, visit the Monster Hunter Wild store page on the PlayStation Store. Stay tuned for more information for pre-orders on the physical version of the Mos Monster Hunter Wild. So if you're looking for a physical version that's not available for pre-orders yet, um, I think they'll probably have more information, I hope. Capcom, I hope that physical and digital are day one. I, I Some companies, Capcom's not like this. All They have been with like the fighting game, like Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Um, you get the digital way earlier. You got to wait like another two months before you get the physical copy, which that's what I ordered. So I hope the physical copy of this game is launched day and date with digital. I know some companies are starting to like do that a little bit where like you get a physical copy like a year later or like a few months later or a couple months later it's like yeah they're starting to push digital a lot more um which is kind of sad to see i'm a physical owner but i had to have this on pc so i can stream for you guys but yeah don't don't worry this ain't just ps5 again it's cross play you can play on ps5 play with your buddies on pc or xbox series s and x this is great i can't wait for this game right i just i can't wait so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, do you guys check out the trailer? What do you guys think of the box art here? Are you guys going to pre-order it? What edition are you going to pre-order? Did you pre-order already? Uh, are you guys going to get it physically? I, I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Well, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. And I'll catch you all in the uh, next video. I have links in the description below for my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. You guys know what to do. Like this video if you like Monster Hunter Wilds. If you guys hype. Show me some love so it can help the algorithm notice my channel for other people. With that said, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.